All right. Hey, everyone. Aloha. So we are here. We are here next to my condo, which is over there. And this is Wake the Fuck Up Wednesday. Welcome. So fun to do this with you here. Sorry about the, uh, the background noise, but I hope you appreciate the view. It's still really early here. It's like 7.30 in the morning. <laughs> anyway, how are you all? It's Wednesday. It is cray cray. It, um, you can all tell me if some huge wave is going to come take me out behind me. Okay. <laughs> anyway, um, so this week I wanted to talk about how to review our past year because really it is such a big deal in terms of how we reflect on the past year to create a new reality for our next year, in this case, 2021. So, you know, a lot of people do resolutions. They have these resolutions like, oh, I'm gonna, um, I'm gonna lose weight or I'm gonna go to the gym or I'm gonna start my business. And they have these resolutions that don't ever happen. Like they happen for about, I don't know, what do you think? Like maybe two months or something, people will stick with their resolutions and then it becomes a situation where they lose the mojo, they lose the motivation, they lose the desire to stick with their plan. Why do you think this is? I'll tell you why I think this is. It is because we tend to not address our thoughts that we had in the last year. I don't know if you all know this, but a lot of times we think, oh, if I just won the lottery, my life would be so much easier. It would be awesome. The reality is when people win the lottery, they actually are less unhappy because now they don't know if their friends are just their friends because they won the lottery or what. And they also end up back in the same socioeconomic class, the vast majority, because it's so easy to overspend when you haven't changed your money mindset. So if someone has the same thoughts about money and how to spend it and how to take care of it or not, and they win the lottery, they're going to have that same mentality, different circumstance, same thoughts about money. And then they're going to have the same reality manifest. Can you see that? It's crazy, right? So the same thing happens in our new year. If we don't change our perception of our body and how we think about our body, we're not going to lose weight. We're not going to go to the gym. We're not going to work out. If we don't change how we think about our finances, we're not going to earn more money. We're not going to make it happen. If we don't change our sense of self-worth, we are going to create the same lack of relationships or the same poor quality relationships, right? So it's really important that we look at what have our thoughts been over the past year that created the things I like or that kept me from creating the things that I don't like. So I'm trying to see here if anybody is posting any questions. I'm looking at the q and I don't see anything right now. Okay, good. So um, I am going to be providing you all with a guide to download that will walk you through my 14, 15 questions that I ask myself every year to review your year. Um, the podcast will drop tomorrow. And you can go to the show notes and download it there. Or if you're on my email list, you can get it that way as well. The 14 questions take you through a process I do with all my Freedom School students called um, Reflect, re Review, Reflect, and Align, right? So the first thing we do is review. It's like what went well in the past year? What didn't go well in the past year? How did I show up when things were going really well? And then we look at what are the thoughts that I was having when things were going well? What were the thoughts that I was having when things weren't going well, right? Then we take that and we reflect on 
really understanding how our thoughts created our reality. Because until we see that, it's so easy to blame it on the people, the money, the job or lack of job, the circumstances, our relationships, our significant others, right? So it's important that we reflect, not just ruminate on all the hard shit that happened, but reflect on what was my thought process in creating this reality. The other thing to think about is what, why did this happen for me, right? We want to think why, okay, pandemic, hard, difficult, created some issues, right? <laughs> created some different circumstances. Why did this happen for me right now? You know, what things are possible because of this hardship? If you had a breakup, if you had lost your job, if you um, lost a bunch of money, if you got sick, why did these things happen for you instead of to you? We often think, oh, all this shit happened to me. 2020 was so hard. It was so fucked up. All these bad things happened. Well, why did it happen for you because and I I totally hate it when people are like everything happens for a reason like I've had cancer twice right it's annoying when someone else asks you know hey everything happens for a reason you know and you're like fuck off <laughs> that's not what I need to hear right now but I want to encourage you to ask it to yourself when you're ready why did this happen for me right because the reason that things happen is not because we are not worthy. It's not because we have bad karma or we deserve to suffer. That is not why those things happen. Things happen, in my opinion, for our growth, right? The reason I think I got cancer twice is because I didn't learn what I had to learn the first time around. That's the story I choose to see about it. And you know what came from it? my business, my like freedom school, like all my adventures and my retreats, I left a super toxic relationship because I chose to see why is cancer happening for me, right? And when you can look at it that way, you're opening up a whole new world of possibilities. I could have looked at it like, poor me, I'm fucked up. Don't get me wrong, I did go there initially, let myself be in that for a little bit to grieve, and then it was like, this isn't helping me. This isn't creating a new reality for me, right? What is a way I can think of this that better serves me? Because it's all just as true, y'all. You could choose to have a pity party about it and make that reality for you. And that would be true for you. You could choose to say, why is this happening for me? And make that a reality for you. And that would be what you create, right? So think about all the hard shit, but don't complain about it. Don't have a pity party about it. Ask yourself, why is it happening for you? Why did it happen for you? Now, a lot of people want to jump to, well, then I want to create my intentions now. That's going to be next week. <laughs> okay. We're going to be talking about that next week because this week is about the review and the reflect. Next week will be about the align. So I want you to ask yourselves, I mean, just really think about it and take the time. You know, why, why is this happening for me? How is this feeding my next growth, my next level of growth, right? How is this possibly going to set me free? 2020 was super intense. I can honestly say it set me free, you know? Not because I made a shit ton of money or something. The circumstances, the way I had to think about my life within those circumstances set me free to create a whole new possibility, right? So <clears throat> if you want to create a new reality in the next year, you have to be mindful and aware of your thoughts. If you had a shitty relationship situation, you have to start to reflect on what was it that I was thinking? You know, we jokingly say, what was I thinking? Answer that question. What were you thinking? Were you thinking, 
oh, deep down, were you thinking, I'm not worthy of an easier relationship? Or is it, <clears throat> I don't deserve to be picky? Or is it, I should be happy with good enough? What were the thoughts in that relationship that impacted why it went the way it did, right? And what do you want to make of that now? If you lost your job, right? What was I thinking in that job that I wasn't performing well, if that's what was happening? Was I thinking, no, oh, I hate being here. Why am I here? This is taking me nowhere. I mean, if I thought that about anything I did, I would suck at it, right? <laughs> or like when you get laid off because of COVID or because of the economy, you could choose to think, I am not worthy. I'm not good enough. That's why they picked me to be laid off. Or you could think, hey, I am using this as an opportunity for fun employment. All right, I'm going to go and I'm going to try. Now, I recognize not everyone can do that. My family, we got government food, those big ass blocks of cheese, all that shit. So I get that not everyone can be like, yay, I'm unemployed. But the bottom line is a lot of people can turn it around in a more positive way that will better serve them. So for example, let's say you can't have that mindset. Let's say you're like having a hard time paying the bills, right? For reals, not your credit card bills for your Gucci bag, but your food bills and stuff. Well, what's going to help you get a job, another job? Thinking that you suck and that you're worthless and that you got laid off because you're not good enough? No, that is not going to help you get the next job that is going to be even better than the one you just got laid off from. You understand? You have to have a different thought process about who you are, what your worth is, and that will help you create a different reality, right? Financially, oh, maybe you didn't make as much this year as you wanted to. Okay, did it make you hustle? Did it make you create new programs? create new um, approaches to your marketing? Like, how can we look at this differently? Because the reality is the shit happened, right? We can't change that reality by hating on the hate, right? We can't change that reality by choosing to think shitty thoughts about shitty things that happened. The shitty things still happened. But we can create a new reality by reframing. And that's what the re review and reflect process is. Okay, so I am not going to go through the whole process with you because I do that on the um, on the podcast and you'll be getting that handout tomorrow, the worksheet that'll walk you through all that. But I really want to encourage you, don't just complain about 2020. Don't just blow it off and go, whoo, I'm so ready for that shit to be done. I'm not even going to think about this anymore. Don't do that. Use it. You know, these challenging times, these fucked up times are what temper us, what make us stronger for reals. You know, I was giving the analogy, I forget where I was talking about this. Maybe it was on a freedom school call. I can't remember. But, um, you know, when I lived in Southern Oregon there, uh, I knew a lot of farmers there because it's big farm country. And I learned that with trees, fruit trees, they have to like beat them with a stick. Like part of it is they go out and they beat the fucking tree with a stick because it will grow more fruit. Mm -hmm. That's for reals. Yeah. Same thing with tomatoes. This I knew because I've grown tomatoes. Like, you know, the tomato plants where you have to shake them. You have to shake them because the, the wind is what helps create a little bit of stress to produce the fruit. They need some stress to produce the fruit. So this, consider it your shakedown. Consider it your shakedown and what is the fruit that you are going to harvest from this shakedown. Let the fruit come, see it, expect it, right? Don't wish for the wind to go away. Don't wish to not get beat down. This is how we flourish. This is how we grow. And when we use it that way and change our mindset, the ironic thing is you don't get beat down as much. Isn't that interesting? Because we create a new reality. Life is always going to have hard times. Life is always going to be, you know, 50-50, woohoo, and otherwise like, okay, doing my taxes type shit, right? But we can choose 
to create a new reality of how we translate that experience into growth so that we have an amazing next year. So that is what I wish for you. Okay. Okay. I wish for you an amazing, an amazing 2021. But before that, I wish you an amazing review and reflect process about 2020 so that you can see how much growth can come out of that when we really are mindful about it. Okay. It's starting to rain on me. So I have to go. <laughs> all right. I love you all. I will see you next week. Download the workbook mañana. Okay. Bye.